Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Parsha. As I'm sure you recall, we are currently in the middle of reading the third book of Humash, the book of Vayikra. Vayikra means he called. And for the whole book of, the, oh, I'm sorry. Hello? Hello, who is it? It's Hashem calling. Hashem, who are you calling for? Hashem is calling for Moshe. Hashem, I'm going to hand the phone over to Moshe. I have to get back to Parsha now. Okay, I know. Hashem isn't really calling on my cell phone. But for the whole book of Vaikra, Hashem is calling Moshe to give instructions relating to the Mishkan that we just finished building at the end of the book of Shemot. The name of this week's Parsha is called Tezria, which means when she gets pregnant. Uh, and it's called that because the start of the Parsha, it says when a woman gets pregnant and she has a baby, uh, let's say she has a baby boy. If she has a baby boy, then when the baby boy is eight days old, of course, he has to have a break me up. But now the Torah gives us new information, also says if she has a baby boy for 33 days, uh, the mother does not go into the Mishkan. If she has a baby girl, then for 66 days, she does not go into the Mishkan. At the end of that time, the 33 days for a boy or 66 days for a girl, then she brings a special korban to the Mishkan, and then she can go back to the Mishkan whenever she needs. Uh, the Parsha then changes topic to something called Sarat, which is a special skin condition, a sort of rash. Uh, but the special thing about Sarat is normally a rash is like something medical, like an allergic reaction, or you're sick. Uh, Tzarad isn't a reaction to something. It isn't, doesn't mean you're sick. It only comes as a message from Hashem. People can only get Tzarad specifically because Hashem said this person's going to have Tzarad. Uh, and how do you know if you have Tzarad? After you know, you've got a rash, check it out with your doctor. The doctor says you're not allergic, you're not sick. Uh, you, show the, you show the rash to the Kohen because the Kohen has a whole list of instructions for how to recognize if something is Tzarad. And the Kohen will give one of three answers. The Kohen will either say, yes, that's definitely Tzara'at. And we'll find out soon what you'll do next. Or the Kohen will say, no, that's definitely not Tzara'at. Check it with your doctor again. Or the Kohen will say, I'm not sure whether or not that's Tzara'at. If the Kohen says, I'm not sure, you wait seven days. And then you go back to the Kohen after seven days to check again. Uh, and when you check again, if the rash has not gotten any bigger, you just need to wash your clothes and check in with the doctor again, you don't have Tzarat on the Hashem Tzarat front, you're fine. Uh, maybe see about your rash. If the rash has gotten bigger after seven days, that means that you have Tzarat. Uh, and the person who has Tzarat, when the Kohen says, hey, you have Tzarat, you make a rip in your clothes and you have to stay apart from everyone else in self-isolation until your rash, your Tzarat rash has disappeared. And then the Parsha tells us something totally crazy. The Parsha says that it's not just on your body that you can get Sarat. People could also get Sarat on their clothes. Clothes can have Sarat. Now, if you see a stain on your clothes, you might think, oh, maybe I just spilled something on it. Uh, not every stain is Sarat. So if you see a stain on your clothes that you think might be Sarat, you have to show it to the Kohen to tell you whether or not it's Sarat. And again, the Kohen will give one of three answers. The Kohen will say, yes, that stain is definitely Tzara'at. Uh, I'll we'll tell you soon what you'll do if your clothes have Tzara'at. Or the Kohen will say, no, that's definitely not Tzara'at. You probably just spilled something. Or the Kohen will say, I'm not sure. And if the Kohen says, I'm not sure whether or not that's Tzara'at, you set that piece of clothing aside for seven days, and then you bring it back to the Kohen to check again. Uh, when the Kohen checks again, if the stain has gotten bigger in that time, it's Tzara'at. You actually have to burn that article of clothing that had the Tzara'at. You'll buy new clothes. Uh, if it's exactly the same, the stain has not changed, you have to wash the piece of clothing that has the possibly Tzara'at stain and wait another seven days to check again with the Kohen. If after that time it is still the same, it's Tzara'at, you have to burn the clothes. If the stain is still kind of there, but it's faded since the last time you checked seven days ago, you actually rip out the part of the clothes with the stain, leave the rest there, and wait another seven days. The stain comes back after that time, after you've ripped out the part of the stain, it's Sarat, you have to burn the rest of the piece of clothing. If after your seven days of checking, the stain has disappeared, then your clothes 
either don't have tzerat or no longer have tzerat. You can wash the clothing and then you can wear it again like normal. It doesn't have tzerat anymore. That is the end of Parshat Tazriah. This Shabbat is also a special Shabbat called Shabbat HaChodesh. HaChodesh, of course, means the month. Uh, we read this special Shabbat on the Shabbat closest to the start of the month of Nisan. In fact, this, this week, this, this year, this Shabbat, we read Shabbat HaChodesh on the day of Rosh Chodesh Nisan, on the exact day that the month HaChodesh Nisan starts. And for Shabbat HaChodesh, we read a passage from the book of Shemot, from back when the Jewish people were still in Egypt, shortly before we left Egypt. And it's called HaChodesh because it starts off with Hashem saying, hey, Moshe, HaChodesh, this month is the first month, meaning the sun is the first month of the Jewish year. Uh, and Hashem says, for this month, HaChodesh of Nisan, uh, tell all the Jewish people, they're going to start getting ready. They're going to take a sheep and set aside that sheep, keep that sheep to be ready for the night of Pesach when you're going to use it for your Korban Pesach to give as a gift to Hashem. And we read this, uh, this portion from the Torah, in addition to the Parsha on the Shabbat closest to the start of Nisan, uh, because what holiday is coming up? Pesach is coming up. And this passage is a reminder that just like the Jewish people in Egypt starting to get ready with their sheep and the instructions and all that, we need to start getting ready for Pesach. So we read this as a reminder that, hey, it's time. Pesach is in a couple of weeks. We should all start making sure that we are prepared for Pesach. That is the end of this week's Parsha. Shabbat Shalom and Choresh Tov.